I've got the answer to a question that not a single soul in the world has ever asked other than me. What if arguably the greatest basketball player of all time, LeBron James, was dropped into the Demon Slayer universe? To deny LeBron James' greatness is simply that, denial. LeBron is one of the most physically dominant forces that the NBA has ever seen before, ever. Not only is LeBron one of the NBA's greatest athletes, but he's one of the world's greatest athletes across all sports. To emphasize how impressive he is, the NBA is a basketball league based out of the USA that houses the strongest, most skilled, and most athletic ball players from across the entire world. To stand atop that league and its history is quite the feat. But before we even throw LeBron into the Demon Slayer first, let's talk about how strong he even is. LeBron's strength is different than that of, say, a bodybuilder. Where a bodybuilder's main goal is just to get big, LeBron's strength is more sensible. Instead of training to make your arms as big as possible, LeBron would train to make his arms as mobile, flexible, and durable as possible. Functionality is what LeBron is training for. Let's play a game of LeBron rapid fire and quickly cover some things you may not know about him. LeBron James is 6 foot 9 approximately and weighs over 260 pounds, consisting mainly of muscle. The average NBA player takes around 13 strides to get across an NBA court, while for LeBron, it takes roughly 9. When LeBron James dunks a basketball, his arms are swinging at roughly 1,124 degrees per second, which is comparable to the blades of a helicopter. When jumping, LeBron creates approximately 9,300 watts of force and can jump roughly 8 feet into the air. Not only is LeBron fast and flexible, but he's capable of sending a basketball flying 25 feet off of the backboard when blocking, so clearly he's strong. Not only is LeBron a physical freak of nature, but his IQ and adaptability aren't lacking either. Thank you for playing LeBron James Rapid Fire with us, we'll see you next time. Alright, so anyways. As we can see, LeBron James' strength is explosive and viable as opposed to being purely aesthetic, like a bodybuilder. When considering what I've said about LeBron and what you may already know about him, I feel like if LeBron James was in the Demon Slayer universe, there are two characters who, when combined, could truly embody what LeBron would be. Those two characters being the sound Hashira Tengen Uzui and the love Hashira Mitsuri Kanroji. Let's explain why. Before this video begins, if you haven't already, take a moment to listen to me talking right now about absolutely nothing while telling you to do something that you likely won't even do even though you're unconsciously doing it right now. You played yourself like solitaire. Okay, run that intro my boy. Sound pillar and the love pillar, okay. While LeBron James' ceiling is almost impossible to calculate, let's break down why these two characters, if combined, would equate to the bare minimum of LeBron's foundation. Firstly, the sound Hashira, Tengen, is probably the closest comparison from Demon Slayer as to what LeBron's build would look like. LeBron is only 3 inches taller than Tengen, so their heights are pretty close. Their weights, on the other hand, are around 50 plus pounds apart, so LeBron's got Tengen beat in the muscle department. However, this isn't a versus battle it's just to give a rough visualization of what lebron might look like if he was dropped into the demon slayer verse if you don't know what he already looks like their speed reflexes and overall abilities would be pretty similar just with lebron elevating it to a whole nother level because he's that dude now we set what lebron would look like a little bit and what i'm about to say about the love hashira is manga spoilers again we're about to dive into manga spoilers so if you want to avoid being spoiled on Mitsuri Konroji, the love Hashira's abilities and powers, skip to the timestamp that you're seeing on screen, all right? Last warning, I'm giving you a few seconds to go there right now. This is going to be manga spoilers on the love Hashira. No big plot spoilers, but on her abilities, her as a character. Spoilers ahead, all right? I gave you all enough time to skip. Let's get it. So anyways, the love Hashira, Mitsuri, could also be considered a quote-unquote freak of nature, just like LeBron James. Her unique constitution makes her physically one of the strongest characters despite her petite body. Not only is she very strong, but thanks to her bodily constitution, she's also very flexible and nimble. Now who does this sound like? Strong, flexible, freak of nature? LeBron James. Right. 
Those aren't the only reasons why LeBron would be comparable to her though, as I feel like they'd have a similar breathing style. Not love. I'm talking about some offshoot of flame breathing. In basketball, everybody knows LeBron has the ability to catch on fire and dominate a game whenever he steps on the court. In NBA 2K, this power or ability is referred to as takeover, which creates flames under your player and enhances your attributes. For that simple reason, I think it's fair to assume that LeBron would learn flame breathing or, like Mitsuri, create his own breathing based off of flame. So we've covered LeBron's feats and we've given him two characters who when combined roughly resemble him or at least give us some type of approximate as to what LeBron could be like. Now let's estimate how far he would go as a slayer. Like I said before, in an anime verse, LeBron's ceiling is impossible to calculate, but at his very worst, he would be top two amongst the Hashira. His only real challenger for the number one strongest Hashira being the stone pillar Giyome. At his estimated peak, LeBron would be capable of soloing the entirety of the Demon Slayer cores at the same time, and all members of the 12 Kizuki, lower and upper, at the same time too. LeBron's only real competition in Demon Slayer would be Muzan and Nezuko. I'm confident that LeBron could take Muzan one-on-one, -on -one, but with any outside interference, it may become a bit draining for him. Nezuko, on the other hand, would likely take LeBron James in a fight 8 out of 10 times, his two wins only coming if she decided to be merciful. Nezuko, while in box form, spites LeBron, and with her complete omnipotence while in basket form, I don't think there's really any amount of plot armor in the world that would allow LeBron James to defeat Nezuko. Luckily for him, Nezuko would probably be an ally to him as she doesn't normally fight humans. So overall, if LeBron James was in the Demon Slayer verse, he would likely become the strongest Demon Slayer in history, even more powerful than Yorichi. Come on now, we all know LeBron has a tendency for dethroning goats, so Yorichi isn't safe. With his overwhelming strength, IQ, and adaptability, LeBron would be a force to be reckoned with and would give Muzan a run for his money. If you agreed with this video, I don't care. If you disagreed with this video and it made no sense at all, I still don't care. Like and subscribe, or dislike and report, or don't do any of that. Comment who you think could rival LeBron in this world because I think nobody. But I'm gonna catch y'all boys and girls in the next one, alright? We out this piece. You. Yeah.